Hey guys, I got another request for a video. Um, this time around it was for the uh, Paraplaneta Americana regular morph. Um, I did a video with the white-eyed earlier, and some people just want to know how I keep my regular ones, um, you know, see if they're any different at all. Um, honestly, they're not. I keep them almost exactly the same. So I just wanted to make a little video to demonstrate that. Um, again, it's a Sterling container, 24 quart. Um, this one has you have Vaseline around the top and make a barrier with it and it goes all the way up to the top rim here it kind of makes a sealed gasket of sorts and that keeps them in pretty well um, always use a substrate plastic cups for food bowls you can see they made a little bit of a mess in here um, th this genus is pretty known for grabbing the food and dragging it around with them for a little bit you know trying to stake claim to it but normally that food sits in the bowls pretty well and what these guys are doing they're just uh, you know, that's natural behavior. So if this starts molding at all, I'll pull that food out of there and replace it with fresh. You always want to maintain your colony. Do not let mold grow in it, um, especially a sealed container like this. The humidity is very, very high in here at all times. And I miss them once or twice a week because uh, I don't use water gel. Now, I suggest you guys do use water gel. It usually works best for people. Um, but I'm, I'm constantly poking around in my containers, so... Uh, the misting works really well for me, plus I give them fresh fruit. There's some banana in there right now. I usually feed them oranges otherwise. But these guys definitely uh, definitely don't need to worry about moisture. Um, but you definitely want to keep their container with high humidity, a moisture source, source of some sort. That's just how these guys live. Um, normally they're in the sewers and all that kind of stuff, very damp and humid. So you can see I have a couple different color morphs in here. There's a very dark adult right there. A very light adult right there next to each other. It's a good comparison. And um, these guys, I was told they're all Paraplaneta Americana, but it's possible that the dark ones are Brunei, uh, another Paraplaneta genus. They look exactly the same, except for the Bruneis are a little darker, and the nymphs look slightly different. Now, I haven't seen any nymphs that look different at all in here. They all look the same to me, so I'm assuming it's just two different color morphs of the American roach. Which is very, very possible. Um, these guys are Uthekalang. Um, they deposit them in this cork. You'll see them like kind of sticking in these little cracks and stuff like that underneath of it. So there's one sticking on the edge here. So that one already hatched, it looks like. But um, Population control is pretty easy with these guys. You just find the Utheka and pull them out and destroy them. Or you just pull some nymphs out and feed them off. Uh, you do want to make sure that you're nymphs are contained in whatever feeder container you're putting them in because they will get out and they will get in your house um, you really don't want that especially if you're in the south I was saying they they are a uh, you know paradomestic pest they will live in your house um, I live up north a little bit here in Pennsylvania it's not too bad uh, with the temperatures um, it's usually kind of cold and dry in the winter time so usually they they wouldn't really do well in my house but um, they could live in the basement. It's a little damp down there. So you can see this colony's a decent size. Um, yeah, they are pretty prolific when it comes to it. Um, they can fly. I've never had them do it. They usually just kind of flutter like a chicken, jump down into the container, that kind of thing. And yeah, you can see they just kind of they just want to get under cover. That's all they ever want to do. Um, they don't like being out in the light very much. Um, I use cork board, cork bark, you know, round piece of cork bark. These work really well as hides. They like to sit upside down a lot. So what I'll do is I'll take these cork pieces and just kind of fold them up like this. Um, and that way they have, you know, vertical inverted surfaces. And I don't know if you can see the uh, long antennas on these guys, but the antenna are actually about as long as their body are. Uh, so they... Uh, they use those as feelers to see what's around, you know. You can see that guy poking around with his little antenna. Um, they'll discover what's in front of them. They'll, you know, figure out how wide the entrances and exits are and stuff like that and holes and cracks. And their antenna are basically their second set of eyes. And they can really do well. They can smell with that and all that. Um, but it's really interesting to open up a container like this and see, like, you know, 20 or 30 pair of those antenna just waving around. Um, I think it's really interesting. I like watching... Uh, these guys, they're uh, one of the more interesting uh, genus, if you ask me. Um, Paraplanet in general really are. I really like them. I'm trying to get every 
uh, species and culture if I can. I have the Australasiae down below and the uh, Brunei also in that container down there. And I think another one is uh, J uh, Japanoka or Jap Japanica, something like that. It's a Japanese version of the American Roach. And uh, I think that might be all the ones that are known in the pet hobby anyway. So these guys, you know, you want to keep them sealed container, humid, all that kind of stuff. Want to make sure the foods and bowls, obviously they mess it up a little bit there, but I'll clean that out later. Uh, want to give them fruit. There's a uh, banana in there that helps with moisture and, you know, also they just love fruit. These guys eat moderate amount. You know, you don't really need to put that much in per week. I just kind of threw a bunch in there this time. But they're, uh, they're somewhat prolific. If you do have too many, just feed them off, freeze them off, whatever you need to do. You'll be fine. Um, make sure that the container's sealed so they don't get in your house. And other than that, they make really good pets. I really like having these guys. Um, they're really interesting to watch. Very speedy little roaches, you know. They're always moving around. Um, even day and night, they're always moving around this container. Um, very active. I really enjoy having them. Um, if you guys have any questions, you guys can go to my website, uh, sites.google.com slash sites slash cockroach care. Or you can just uh, find the link in my profile here. And uh, I think I put it on the announcements on my YouTube page. And I also post all these videos on that website as well. Alright, see you guys later.